What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I want to talk about the guts of the new Ford F-150 Lightning. I'm so excited to be at the Atlanta Motor Speedway for an event that they have asked us to come out to and I've actually got a cutaway chassis of the new F-150 Lightning and then I also have a very early pre-production Platinum model. So that is what we're going to cover in this video. All right, before we go any further in the walk around of the vehicle itself, I do want to showcase this. This is an actual cutaway of the new Ford F-150 Lightning. And what's so cool about this is you have the ability to see something that's unique. You can see the chassis, the underpinnings of the vehicle um, before you can even have the chance to buy the vehicle. By the way, um, if you are liking this video and you're thinking about placing a reservation for a Ford F-150 Lightning, I'm going to put some links down below uh, to automatically register. Oh, it's a $100 refundable deposit for an F-150 Lightning, and we are guaranteeing that we are not selling any of these Ford F-150 Lightnings over MSRP. Every last one of them is at MSRP. And so if you want some more information about that, feel free to check out those links down below. So let's take a look at this. Now, the very most basic things about this frame, you're going to notice it. it is just like a normal Ford F-150. Now, as you can see, this is a fully boxed frame from the front to the back. And as you can see, you've got multiple cross members going all the way through this chassis to stiffen it up. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm six foot three and I weigh 260 pounds. Whoa. -ho -ho. So as you can see, the only reason I'm doing this is because I saw the demonstrator do this. And I'm like, hey, I can do it too. Uh, <laughs> but you notice that nothing even flexes even a little bit. So continuing on with that, I want to showcase to you a couple of the different signs that Ford's got here. Now, the first thing you want to notice, this uh, every one of these F-150 Lightnings features dual motors. So you've got a motor in the front and a motor in the rear. What does that mean? You get all wheel drive as standard on every last Ford F-150 Lightning. Technically, they're calling it a four wheel drive system, but it is a, a technically an all wheel drive setup. So, and as you can see, you've got 563 horsepower and 775 pound feet of torque. So a pretty cool setup. Now let's talk about the batteries since we've got an easy, clear view of what's going on here. Now, what's nice about this is this is like big, basically just one big pack. There are uh, basically four bolts that's holding this battery pack in place. If you undo those bolts, you can drop it down and individually replace specific cells. So like in the old version of of um, the other hybrids or electric vehicles, if the battery pack went bad, you basically had to replace the entire thing. Not so uh, in this. And speaking of replacing stuff, this vehicle does come with an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the electrical components. And so what's cool about that is if for some reason the battery um, seven years in is not holding 70% of the original charge, and it's, that's kind of the threshold that Ford will replace that battery pack for you. Um, so see your local dealer for specific details, but I think it's neat that they're really backing this thing up with that eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the electrical components. Now, a couple of other things that I wanna to showcase to you uh, as we kind of move back to this backside, um, the F-150 Lightning is going to handle significantly better than a normal F-150, and that is because of this. This is the first time I've had a chance to see this in person. Uh, you already knew about it, but I haven't had a chance to actually lay my hands on it independent rear suspension for the first time in a Ford F-150 is massive news. So as you can see, you've got your motors back here, but you've got these massive control arms that are connected to these coils. Uh, technically, it's, it's not a coil over, but it is a coil over the shock itself. But you've got massive control arms, which you're still going to be able to tow plenty of, of weight. And so you can actually get up to, I think, 10,000 pounds of towing in this particular vehicle depending on how this thing is set up. So now keep in mind that is with the max trailer tow package and a couple of other things. Um, and a lot of people have asked um, specifically, why do you have to have that max trailer tow package? Well, the primary reason is cooling. The Ford F-150 Lightning has the ability to go up to 300 miles on a single charge. That's if you go with the extended range battery. Now what's cool about that extended range battery is you also get the necessary, you get an 80 amp charger from the factory included with the purchase if you go with that extended range tank or extended range battery rather. And the cool part about that is if you go that way, it also comes with everything that you need to do and set up that bi-directional charging. So I think that is an absolutely very, very cool thing to do. But now lastly, I wanna talk about the charging times. Would you believe me if I told you that the extended range battery with longer range charges faster at home and also at the, uh, the, the charging stations, it charges faster than the normal range tank or battery. I'm gonna have some problems getting over saying a gas tank because this thing ain't got no gas tank. 
The reason for that is because of a couple of different things. You've got a dual battery setup and extra cooling that allows you to basically send more power to the battery pack all at one time without having to worry for degradation of the actual battery itself. So it's fantastic technology that I think that they can actually charge the longer range, extended range, in a faster time than the normal battery. All right, so enough about this particular cutaway. Now let's talk about the Mega Power Frunk. Okay. For you guys, that that name is cringeworthy as I think it is. <laughs> That's the last time I'm going to say it. But this is a front trunk for the new Ford F-150 Lightning. Now, what's so cool about this is it does come with a divider, and you actually can uh, set this up as kind of like a table setup. But you can divide everything out. There is active drain plugs in here, so you can actually put ice and put your brewskis up here or whatever you want. If you're going camping, you definitely don't need to be drinking and driving, but you kind of get the idea there. You've got a plenty of space. You can uh, set this particular set up and uh, check this out when we put this down you even have the ability to have tiny little cup holders so your drinks don't slide around and I think that is so cool now what's also going to be available um, well, I think it starts with the job to build is you've actually got scales located up here in this uh, front trunk and then also scales in the back of the vehicle so that way you know exactly how much cargo you're carrying why is that important well, there is a co payload capacity. I think up front, there's a 400 pound payload capacity in this front trunk, and I can't remember what it is in the rear, so I'll put that on the screen if we can find that, that specific number. You wanna make sure you don't exceed those payload capacities, and that's one of the reasons that they include the scale. But in addition to that, they also give you those scales so that way the vehicle can properly estimate how much range you have left. Because think about it, if you put a thousand pounds worth of payload in the vehicle and start driving, you're not going to get the same range as if you had just yourself with absolutely no cargo. More weight means that it's a lesser range. So I think it's very cool that Ford is giving the absolute best guess possible at a range based on your current live situation. Not only that, but it also goes off of things like the temperature outside. It goes off of your driving habits. It goes off a lot of different things. Uh, the, you know, I think I talked about the temperature outside, but I didn't talk about the temperature of the battery. That also plays a big portion into how much range you can get. So I think that's pretty sweet. Now let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. For the rear of the vehicle, you've got a lot of technology that is carried over from the 2021 Ford F-150, just like the tailgate step. You also have the work surface for the rear, whereas you can see you can use these little clamps socket so you can clamp your wood down to the to the vehicle itself then you can run that saw and cut it off if you want to work off of the back of the vehicle I think it's pretty cool pretty neat uh, you also have a ton of different outlets in here in the back in fact let's just count what we've got it looks like you've got a 240 volt plug uh, it looks like you know what let's just get over here and let's see exact because I want to count myself how many plugs we got so we've got this big plug located up here then you've also got two more here then you got two more here so that's four plugs plus a 240 then you've got another four plug up front that we didn't get a chance to show you so we'll put that right there on the screen and you even have a USB-C and a USB-A up in that mega power front I, I said I wasn't gonna say it didn't I the, the front trunk <laughs> all of this doesn't even count the, the extra plugs that are in the cab of the vehicle which by the way this uh, cab is locked because it's an early pre-production model and that's the reason all the, the windows are blacked out because they don't want us to see on the inside of it but really, realistically, this thing is absolutely set up for ridiculous amount of power. So as you can see, you can do up to 9.6 kilowatts of power at any point in time. So let's, for instance, say that you're gonna be framing up a house. All at the same time, 8,000 watts, you can look at doing the miter saw, you can do the circular saw, the battery charger, hammer drill, two uh, half horsepower air compressors, area floodlights, all at the exact same time. And, and guess what? You still have 1,600 watts left to go. <laughs> How wild is that? So I do think that most people that are gonna be buying this vehicle, the high end like this, is going to be someone that just wants the convenience of electrification, but they need the extra size of a Ford F-150. But for those pro users, the, the, the entry version, the one that people are gonna be working out of their vehicle, I think that is absolutely epic and genius on Ford's part. Before we wrap up the video, I've got a lot of specs that were shared with me that were new to me, and I know it's got to be new to you guys. So without further ado, you know, you, you, you're talking about a Ford F-150 Lightning and, you know, 
they're, Tesla makes good products. I don't have any quorums with them. Rivian, I'm sure, is going to make a great product. But one thing that Ford and the Ford F-150 Lightning has above the rest of the competition is going to be the dealer body. There's over 2,300 EV certified Ford dealers. So heaven forbid you're you know, traveling and something happens, you've got more of a chance to actually get something repaired or taken care of at one of those 2300 Ford dealers. So I think that is absolutely fantastic that Ford does that. Now I wanna talk about where this vehicle is made because I've had a lot of people say, oh, I can't believe the Bronco, man, they're making that thing in Mexico. Now the Bronco Sport's made in Mexico, the Bronco is made in Michigan at the Michigan assembly plant. This thing is actually built at the Rouge plant in Michigan. And uh, I think it's fantastic that Ford is making yet another vehicle in the United States. Yes, there are vehicles that are built outside of the United States, but I'm glad that the big boys are made inside of the United States. Now let's talk a little bit about the sync system. So this vehicle features a sync 4A system, which is the, the vertical version of sync system. And it allows you to have, basically everything is available at your fingertips, but most of the important things like your air conditioning and a couple of other things are going to be located with physical hard buttons. So if you're working out of the vehicle, no worries, no harm, no foul. You still have the ability, you have your gloves on, you can still change the temperature, you can still turn the dial with as far as the volume is concerned. So I'm glad that Ford left some physical buttons in, whereas Tesla is, it makes a great product, but they overly simplify and minimalist most of their vehicles to the point of it's just hard to use. And so I'm glad that Ford has left those buttons specifically there. Now let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, charging. Cause a lot of people have said, you know what, you know, I, I can't buy something like this because you know, I can't deal with those charging times. Every time I need to charge, I need to take it to the, one of those charging stations. That's not the truth. Ford is estimating that over 80% of the charging for this vehicle will be done at your home. So keep in mind that with the extended range battery and that 80 amp battery charger they're going to give you with that particular setup, it's designed to go with a full charge to 100% in eight hours. Coincidentally, that's what most people spend as far as sleeping is concerned. So the idea there, every single morning you wake up, you've got 300 miles worth of charge. Now, if you're going to be doing a long distance road trip, then yeah, you might want to utilize that Electrify America fast charging setup. But in most situations, you don't want to use that fast charging setup every single day. It's not good for the battery. One of the biggest unknowns about this F-150 Lightning is going to be the battery size. Now, Ford has not come out right and said specifically what this thing is going to have as far as a battery capacity. But from every... It's raining. I'm glad we're under a tent. <laughs> but anyway, so what Ford is telling us is that the extended range version of this battery is supposed to get anywhere from 130 to 140 kilowatt hours on this specific battery pack. So I think it is fantastic that Ford is including a nice big battery pack. And it's one of the reasons they're able to get 300 miles on a single charge of, I keep wanting to say fuel, but on a single charge for the vehicle itself. Coming back to the front for just a second, I want to point out to you that none of these grills have got holes in them. Why is that? Because you don't have an engine. If you don't have an engine, you can actually block this thing off and seal it off for aerodynamics. So what's so beautiful about this is that's going to... <laughs> I... <laughs> it's raining here, I apologize. This is not a normal vehicle. It does not have an internal combustion engine that requires extra airflow. And since you don't need that extra airflow, they can seal it off for better aerodynamics, which gets you better range, gets you that 300 miles of estimated range on a single charge. So I think it's pretty cool. Now, in addition to that, you've got a couple of other things. You've even got the headlights are designed for aerodynamics. You've got the wheels, I think I'm, I've already mentioned, are specifically designed for aerodynamics to help you get that specific range. You even have a dedicated and new version of the running boards, which are designed for, yet again, better aerodynamics. And so really, aerodynamics is the name of the game when it comes to electrification. You've got just a few things that can go into what gets you better range. One of those is aerodynamics, the battery size, and the efficiency of the motors. Past that, there's not a whole lot of extra you can do to get better, well, and then weight of the vehicle, that is. But past those things, you can't really do anything else to extend the range on the battery itself. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, this very unique look at the new Ford F-150 Lightning. We thank you so much for joining this particular video, and thank you for joining the Town & Country squad 
If you haven't already done so, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Turn that thing from red to gray, but don't forget to hit that bell so that way you get notified when we upload new content just like this one. If you haven't already done so, hit the comments up down below. We will be playing around down there and hopefully answering any questions you guys have. I'm gonna remind you again, if you haven't already done so, place a reservation for a Ford F-150 Lightning. It's a $100 deposit, it's completely refundable, and at our dealership, Town & Country Ford in Bessemer and Pell City, Alabama, it is guaranteed no dealer markups. Not a penny over MSRP, and we'll be happy to even put that in writing for you because I know some, on these Broncos that people ordered, some customers got screwed by dealers who said one thing and did something completely different. We're different. We'll be happy to put that in writing just to ease your mind a little bit. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.